Hi, are you a fan of crispy vadas and garma garam pakodas? Aren't we all? I'm Madhumita, one of the founders of the company The Indus Valley. In this video, we'll understand the chemistry behind fried food. I advise you have some yummy snacks ready because this is going to be a mouth-watering video. Have you ever wondered why fried food is really crispy on the outside and very soft but well done on the inside? Let's take the example of a vada and we'll understand the steps that help us make it that way. The three most important heat transfer mechanisms help us ensure that our food is well cooked. They are conduction, convection and radiation. Let's just keep that in mind and let's simplify it in case of a vada. So a pan is placed or a kadai can be placed on a gas stove. It is heated with oil in it. Once the oil is hot enough, we would draw batter of vada in the right size. Once that is done, it will start getting heated. So what happens in the case of conduction? In case of conduction, the pan gets heated. The heat from the pan gets transferred to the oil and the hot oil in turn will heat the vada. The next most important process that we have to look at in the heating mechanism is convection. The hot oil in the pan creates convection currents. This ensures that it cooks the vada evenly inside and out. The final and most important heating mechanism is radiation. The hot oil emits infrared radiation. This is what ensures that the vada browns evenly across all surfaces even though it is nowhere in contact with the cooking surface here in this example being the kadai. Now that we've understood the impact of different methods of heating that will cause in crispiness and taste of fried food, let's understand other factors such as size of the batter or the food being fried, uh, also the amount of water content. So the crispiness that can be achieved in vegetables versus meat. Let's deep dive into that and understand more. Let's go ahead and understand oil absorption. The ideal vada or pakoda can be made when the absorption of oil is at the correct level. There are positives and negatives in oil being absorbed. When oil is absorbed in fried food like vadas and pakodas, it adds a lot of flavor, richness and creates a crispy layer on the outside. But when excessive oil is absorbed, it becomes very soggy, greasy and it increases the calorie intake. This could lead to potential health problems. It needs to have the ideal amount of oil absorption. How do we achieve that? Before that, let's understand how oil happens. So let's say a batter is dropped into hot oil. Once the batter is dropped, the water in the batter gets heated and it escapes as steam. As it escapes as steam, it creates very tiny minute pores through which the oil is absorbed. But there are a lot of factors which impact the size of pore, how much oil gets absorbed and impact on crispiness and many other factors. So there are key things that we have to keep in mind such as what food is being fried, size of the food that is being fried, temperature of the oil and the utensil used. These things can really impact the way the fried food turns out. Let's figure out how this will impact your food step by step. Foods such as vegetables which have excessive water content in them tend to absorb lesser oil than foods that have lesser water content such as meat. This is because the water within the food acts as a barrier preventing excessive oil from getting in. Next is foods with higher surface area to volume ratio such as a slice of potato or chicken nugget would absorb more oil than when an entire chicken is fried. Another important piece to consider is the temperature of oil itself. When food is fried at high temperatures, it will ensure that the oil absorbed is less because it gets cooked very quickly and it doesn't give a lot of time for oil absorption. The converse is also true. The other and last important factor to consider is the duration of cooking. If the food is cooked in hot oil for a long period of time, it will tend to absorb more 
oil making it greasy highly calorific and it will taste really soggy and not crispy so it's very good to avoid that and excessive browning might also happen so considering all of these factors choose the right size of food the right kind of food fry it in the right temperature and for the right amount of time to get the perfect crispy vada or pakoras now that we understand the heating method and the right size of batter to be used how do we get the characteristic aroma and crispiness of the vada this is contributed by the maillard reaction what exactly happens in the maillard reaction the carbohydrates and protein within the batter that's being fried reacts with each other going through a series of complex chemical reactions and ends up giving out flavor and aroma molecules this gives this unique smell and taste to your vada what happens and what contributes to the crispiness in most fried food let it be vadas or pakoras you'll notice that the outside is very crispy brown and the inside is very soft spongy and juicy how is this possible this crispy exterior is again contributed by the maillard reaction it is the heat of the oil that helps in browning and crispiness of the outside Now that we understand how Maillard reaction works, it is very easy to appreciate the flavor, aroma, and texture that it brings into fried food. It's very important because it gives the signature for any fried food across the world. Now that we know the science behind fried food, I'm sure you can enjoy tasty, fresh, garma garam fried vadas and pakoras at home. Just to recap. If you need to make the ideal fried food like vada ensure you're using kadai like a cast iron kadai because it will retain heat for a long time fill it with the right amount of oil and bring it to a high temperature once the oil is heated uh, ensure that your batter has the right amount of oil as we learn excessive oil or very less oil is not good because what will happen is that oil absorption will occur so going back to the batter the right amount of water in your batter make it in the right size because when the size is too thin it will increase oil absorption when the size is too thick the insides might not be cooked well so make a medium sized patty and drop it into the hot oil if the oil is hot the oil absorption will be less and the cooking will be really fast once it is cooked keep looking at the color browning is very important when it's in the ideal shade of brown take it off from the hot oil now that we know the secret behind how to fry and get the tasty food from uh, deep frying it's a very simple science which will ensure we are getting tasty crispy and aroma filled fried food i told you you'll be mouth watering at the end of the video go ahead and grab your snack and have a nice day but before you leave ensure you share this video with another friend also check out other videos on uh, how to clean how to maintain how to cook and science behind cooking on the indus valley channel and also don't forget to subscribe thank you